we examined patient compliance with maintenance therapy for non-muscle invasive bladder cancer. Randomized clinical trials have found that rates of compliance range between 1 and 34 percent, showing a wide variation in levels of compliance, albeit all showing fairly poor levels of completion of maintenance protocols. These range from the SWOG trial to EORTC trials, which again have shown variation in compliance. But patient compliance with complete maintenance protocols has been poorly characterized in a real-world clinical practice setting. What we did is we wanted to examine the role of real-world clinical practice setting in compliance with maintenance therapy. So in a real-world setting, we wanted to identify whether there were factors that would predict rates of compliance in patients with non-muscle invasive bladder cancer. We had a cohort of 729 patients who completed 862 cycles of BCG or mitomycin and about 8,200 installations overall. 63% of patients underwent BCG installations and 37% mitomycin installations, with BCG being the predominant treatment in patients with high-grade disease and mitomycin being the predominant treatment in low-grade disease. What we found was about 54% of patients who initiated a BCG induction went on to maintenance, and only 36% of patients went on to maintenance in the mitomycin C group. What we ultimately found in defining compliance rates was we found that only 54% of patients on the BCG LAM protocol achieved compliance at one year of therapy, 26% of patients achieved compliance by two years, and only 10% completed the entire three-year LAM protocol. With respect to a monthly maintenance schedule, what we found was that 55% of patients completed a full year of BCG using a monthly maintenance schedule. 47% of patients completed a full year of mitomycin when on maintenance schedule. In identifying compliance factors that might play a role in predicting patient compliance with maintenance therapy, we examined stage, grade, as well as previous history of bladder cancer, and distance from hospital, and age. What we found that only prior history of bladder cancer was predictive of higher rates of compliance with maintenance therapy. So in summary, we conducted a real-world analysis of compliance with maintenance therapy. What we found was that while rates of compliance with monthly maintenance were higher than that of LAM maintenance, that they were roughly equivalent after about one year, suggesting, perhaps, that the duration of the schedule is more important than the actual timing of the installations themselves. Despite the lack of evidence for a monthly maintenance schedule for BCG maintenance, patients were more compliant with it than the typical LAM schedule over the long term. Our goals are to identify any relationship between compliance and outcomes such as cancer-specific survival, overall survival, and progression. We, in addition, aim to look at the various patient and physician factors that may play a role in compliance with maintenance therapy.